I'ma try it out. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, Lucas here. Today I'll be showing you how to make your desktop look like the Monster Cat visualizer you see in the YouTube videos. Personally, I think this looks really cool and I've always wanted to know how to do it and I've, I've figured it out how to do it and uh, just want to make a short video on showing other people how they can do it as well because uh, I think it looks sweet. So here's a little preview of what, uh, what it'll end up looking like. Uh, I just grabbed a picture of uh, a Monster Cat wallpaper and then um, set it up here so this is what it looks like in the end and so on so as you can see that's that's just running off my desktop it's not in a program it's not on anything uh, I've, I've uh, given it settings so that you can't drag it or move it or anything uh, and basically it, uh, it just plays on your desktop seamlessly uh, it looks awesome um, and so this is how you this is how you set it up you just go Google you just type in rain meter and it should be the first one there you get onto this site click the the for, for this tutorial uh, when it comes to the Monster Cat visual Visualizer, you need 3.3. So you hit download here. Once you get that downloaded, you just you just click through it all, and it will go through and download it all like nothing. There's no no viruses. It's a completely legit type program. Uh, it just you just press OK for pretty much everything. It's a very quick download. Uh, once it downloads, uh, feel free to drag the program onto the desktop I'm not going to do it because I I've set mine up to have like equal amounts uh, and then this will pop up uh, this is just like telling you the settings for it so basically once you once you get to that part and you download it um, I'm pretty sure the very first time you download it it actually comes up with a bunch of welcome things here uh, it's not too hard to get rid of them uh, you just go go like this um, and it will have uh, all these system, like the uh, default type notification thing. And what you do, you click into them, and then there'll be like one of these, and it will have the dot ini. Basically, if you don't want them popping up, you can actually click on them, right click on them, and there'll be like an unload thing, or you can go here and then unload them. So this would actually say unload, like this one. So it'd be like that, except for the default one. You click unload goes away. Uh, I'm not going to do that for this because this is the, spa, the Monster Cat Visualizer. Uh, so once you uh, get rid of all the stuff and just like have a clear uh, desktop or however way you want to put it, uh, both both all the, all the links in this video will be in the description uh, just letting you know. And uh, so basically you go to this one next and you'll download this one, so you download there that'll go on, that's a really really fast uh, file uh, you click on it, uh, it should either come up like here or whether wherever you uh, put the download location to go um, once you click on it, it'll come up with a little box uh, saying install it installs it straight into here then what you do, it'll pop up like this, so this is what you'll get and then you click on the Spotify one and uh, well that's you know that's if hoping you use Spotify the Spotify one actually reacts to any types of sound so it'll react to YouTube videos, Spotify videos, Spotify music I mean um, anything and so just use the Spotify one so double click the Spotify one and it will load automatically uh, this and then this will pop up here uh, and then you'll find though when you when you play something uh, that it will all the all the bars will go up to to like all the way up here all of them nearly and there'll just be a bit of variation up here that's not what we want that um, that's not actually how it looks in the YouTube videos as I'll show you uh, if you go here and uh, where is that what have we got? Um, if you go this and 
pegboard nerd songs and things like that, the way they've set it up, they've got quite a lot of e like equal variation. So it's low low sounds that don't do much at the bottom, and then there'll be peaks all throughout the song. Um, so this is what we want. Um, and to achieve this, what you want to do is you uh, just go to your desktop, uh, uh, position this like to where you want it. I have it here so then it's like evenly spread out. So there's like a gap here and a gap here while it's playing. Like click into this, uh, go to the the um, thing you're using, which will be Monster Cat Visualizer. Go to Open Variables. And what you want to do is you want to um, copy what I have here perfectly. So everything will be left alone until I tell you which ones I've changed. So the first one you've changed here, minimum bar value, instead of 0 0.005, make it 0 0.003. Sensitivity, change it from 51 to 36. and FFT Decay, change that from 110 to 100. And if you want to look closer into this stu stuff here, this is uh, changing the color of it. But uh, I have a theme going for my computer since my keyboard, mouse, computer, and desktop. It's, it's all like, it, the theme is like a light blue and black. So um, I'm leaving it at the default color which is just the light light blue type thing so um, yeah you want to keep these settings just as old um, just as I've said okay so what you're gonna do now is just exit out of it press save and then what you want to do is press refresh all and this will apply the new settings that we've just gone through and just close it and yeah, this will result in looking like this. Even amounts on both sides. Uh, and then also, this little bit up here, this is just a little system uh, type like info bar, uh, which I look, which I think looks pretty good with the uh, the two different apps. So this is like apps, and then this is games and then you've got the music visualizer in the middle along with the desktop and then information I think it's a good mix um, so basically for this one this is this tab here so I'll be putting this in the description as well so you do the same thing download uh, go down here and uh, it'll pop up and you just double click on it double click on this load unload whatever and it comes up and then you just want to drag it to the very top right um, and then it will like snap in the corner um, and then if you right click you will you can lock it but I've already locked it and I've put an option on called click through so if I disable click through you'll see that I can actually right click and get the uh, settings so I'm just going to leave that again so that you can't interfere with it so like if you put stuff it will actually go above it um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty sure I've covered everything, but apart from that, uh, I think it looks really cool. Um, it's a good, it's a good mix, um, and uh, I find it really cool that you can do the, this type of stuff on Windows. Um, <coughs> uh, it's been Lucas. See you guys.